Hey, what up guys? This is Ryan with PC Battle Stations, and today we're going to take a look at the Warmier K66 keyboard. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Warmier K66 keyboard. Come on! <laughs> the Warmier K66 keyboard, which is the gaming mechanical keyboard, and Banggood asked if I wanted to review this, and at first, you know, this is another gaming keyboard. Currently, I think on their site it goes for about $57. And, um, you know, what I did like though, it has the crystalline case or the acrylic see-through RGB. And obviously you use this to increase the frames per second and lower your PC temps, obviously, you know, add more <laughs> RGB. Um, you know, so, but after reviewing it and after taking a look at it, I am pleasantly surprised. And let's take a look at why. Let's do this. Alright, let's unbox it and let's see what's inside. Taking a look at this keyboard, this keyboard has USB-C connection, which is nice, and it is a kind of a flat keyboard. So you notice the, the bottom feet on it, the back ones are slightly raised, so it angles it a little bit, but it's pretty much lays flat, so if you like more of the angular keyboard, um, this one sits more of a flat. And then uh, you can see the case is split into about three sections, and the middle one's just uh, looks like a little spacer with screws on it. Weighs about 1.2 pounds or 551 grams. And what makes this keyboard stand out is the acrylic case or they call it the crystalline base. Obviously you can see through uh, all the RGB on it and it has its RGB backlit so that means uh, you know each keycap is backlit and changes colors and then it has the underglow so it has the back that uh, underglows underneath the keyboard, which is kind of nice. And obviously this RGB increases, uh, I think it's roughly, I think I clocked it around 56, increases your frames per second about 56, and then lowers your PC temps, I think about five degrees. Let's take a look at all the lighting effects this keyboard has. And there's no software installed, which is really cool, so you just plug and play. The function delete button dims the lights all the way to off. The function insert makes the lights brighter. The function spacebar, you can choose the different color palettes rather than cycling through all the different colors and finding the right one, which is really kind of nice. You know, the function spacebar, and then in the alpha keys, you just basically choose what color you want, and then boom, that color is the whole keyboard, which is really nice. If you want to get out of the single color mode, all you gotta do is hit the function spacebar, and then spacebar again. There's 18 different lighting modes just by hitting the function and the right control button. So let's cycle through all the 18 different lighting modes that it has. change the underglow, you hit the function and the left control button. And I don't think you can change the speed of the underglow, it's just cycling through the different lighting effects.
So this keyboard has south-facing switches, which is kind of cool. But keep in mind that if you ever want to replace these keycaps and you want backlit keycaps, meaning you want the characters uh, to shine through, then keep in mind that the, the ones that come with the board themselves are in the bottom half of, or kind of bottom aligned. And most of the keycaps, backlit keycaps that you're gonna buy are probably gonna be on the top half, so the LEDs aren't gonna shine very well through it. And the available switches that you can get with this keyboard are the Gatoron Blacks, the Blues, the Brown, and the Red. The keyboard from Banggood, they are the non-hot swappable switches, so you can't swap out switches. Uh, but I believe KP Republic has this same board uh, that are a hot swap. And it's slightly more expensive, I think around $70 on uh, KP Republic. All right, let's do a sound test to see how this keyboard sounds. And I have the Gatoran red switches. This keyboard has a little wobble on some of the modifier keys and the stabilizers seem to kind of rattle too. So uh, for the people buying this budget keyboard, it's probably not a big deal, but you can actually see the stabilizers kind of go up and down and see some movement there. It causes the rattle and the wobble. The keyboard enthusiast will definitely have a problem with it. So all in all, this is a pretty decent keyboard for $57 currently on Banggood. You know, if you want a gaming mechanical keyboard with max RGB, you probably want to take a look at this. I like the feel. I like everything it has to offer. You know, for $57, you can't go wrong. If you're a gaming or if you're a keyboard enthusiast, obviously you're looking at something more expensive. Uh, but if you're on a budget and you want max RGB, you know, I think this is a pretty decent keyboard. I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.